I'm Tony Scott with BNET TV. We are here at the uh, Small Cells Global Congress in Berlin for 2013. I am speaking with Telcom Slovenia's Mr. Peter Sidar. How are you today, sir? I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Excellent, fantastic. For all the people out there in BNET TV land, give me a brief overview of why Telcom Slovenia is here at the Small Cell Global Congress. Uh, yeah, there are several reasons. Um, most important is that small cells are in the future of LTE deployments are the one of the most important elements of the mobile network. And I'm here also as a representative from UNTES uh, forum. Uh, so I try to promote uh, future technologies like uh, small cells in LTE, uh, which will enable greater capacity in LTE and LTE advanced networks. What are some of the challenges that exist when de deploying small cells into uh, an architecture or a network that wasn't built for that? Yeah, there are several challenges. Uh, one of the most important challenges is uh, aggregation of uh, network traffic because each small cell uh, supports just the several users. The traffic can be quite sporadic. Uh, so it's better to aggregate the traffic as soon as possible. So uh, co-location of small cells is important to aggregate as soon as possible this traffic. And also point-to-multi-point -point microwave connections can help it. Uh, another um, challenge uh, is also to find suitable locations for small cells. Right. Because lampposts sometimes they don't really have a yeah, it sounds strange, but they don't have electricity right. be because they are switched at a different uh, place. And during the day, there's actually no electricity in the wires in the lamppost. So if you connect a small cell to a lamppost like that, <laughs> it's a bit of a yeah, uh, stupid uh, thing to so, do. Yeah, I think you bring up a really good point. I mean, there are challenges and power is right at the top. Uh, backhaul is, is always another one. So you, you bring up some really good points. Is Telecom Slovenia planning on deploying small cells or have you already started that? Yes, we are planning to deploy small cells because this is the only way how to um, how to solve the capacity problem in the future networks. Uh, but before we can really comfortably uh, deploy the small cells, it's uh, important to get uh, uh, frequency space, like uh, 2600 megahertz, which will only be uh, available probably next year after the auction of these frequencies is uh, finished in Slovenia, hopefully. And so what are you doing here at the Small Cell Global Congress? I'm actually a speaker. I was speaking today. Uh, I just came from Amsterdam where I was also a speaker at another conference. And uh, I try to promote uh, a deployment of small cells uh, because uh, it's really important that operators and also vendors realize that uh, small cells are the key to really increase the capacity of future mobile networks. And yeah. So what? Uh, wh what are going to be the challenges for Telecom Slovenia uh, within the next 12 months after the system's deployed? The, the challenge will be how to uh, smoothly um, upgrade our network to LTE Advanced uh, to get more even more capacity out of it to, uh, to use uh, additional frequencies which hopefully we will get during the auction and then of course uh, it will be a challenge to cover uh, as much uh, population as possible in Slovenia. It's, uh, those are both really good challenges. So hopefully next year this time we'll be able to have an additional conversation on how that went. Yeah, hopefully we will. Yes. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you very much, Peter. I've been speaking with Peter Sadar of Telcom Slovenia and the, the UMTS Forum here at the Small Cells Global Congress in Berlin for 2013. I'm Tony Sklar with BNET TV.